Fellowship's first ever fireside chat Christmas carol singing shindig. <laughs> so, so glad you could join us today. I so hope that everybody had a wonderful Christmas in this COVID world that we have. And in keeping with the Christmas spirit, I thought, and the fireside, and me in a chair, and my Christmas sweater. I thought that I would um, just share again the Christmas story quickly for our call to worship. And it says this in Luke, and Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him down in a feeding trough since there was no room for them at the inn. Now there were also shepherds in that area keeping watch at night over their flocks in the open field. And then suddenly, a celestial shepherd messenger of the Lord stood by them, and the light of the glory of the Lord engulfed them, and they were petrified. And the celestial messenger immediately calmed them and said, You have no reason to fear, because listen, I have the most wonderful announcement to make. This will lead to the great encounter of the most joyful bliss for every single person on this planet. For your Savior, was born this day in the city of David, the Messiah, the Master. And this is how you will know that it's him. You'll find a little baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a feeding trough. And the next moment, a heavenly host of multitudes of celestial messengers join and erupt in accolades and praising God and telling the God story. And they said, God's highest and grandest intention in the heavens is dovetailed upon earth in unbroken incarnate oneness, in being human. Here we go. He exhibits his delight with humankind. That is what Christmas is about. So join us this morning as we sing our Christmas carol together.
Thank you for that. So beautiful. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. You know, I can't help but think, especially this year, Christmas feels especially perfectly placed in the midst of this season. As I've been listening to so many of the Christmas lyrics that are kind of routine now in our minds. The weary world rejoices. Peace, hope, comfort, light. How much is Christmas so perfectly placed this year, but also so strange and different. But how much more do we need Christmas this year? That the weary world can rejoice a little bit on that day yesterday. We rejoiced a little bit. Though there was a lot of sting, maybe, a lot of bitterness, a lot of darkness, a lot of difference in the way we celebrated, the weary world can still find that place to rejoice because of Christ, because of the birth of Christ. There's something when we say Merry Christmas that I feel like it's like this blessing. Uh, may the birth of Christ bring you joy in your weariness, in our weariness. And oh, how much we've needed that this year, especially. So in the midst of all of this, our little church has thrived. In the midst of all the difficulty of the pandemic, our church, you all, every single one of you, have remained. We've showed up together as a little community online and in here. And while finances have been difficult for so many of us, we pulled together. We showed up together. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you so much for the pennies, the dollars, the hundreds, the, the gifts, the hellos that you gave to sustain us as a community this year. That's something so special. We're a special community. Also, we want to give a special thanks to Ted and Jenna Edwards, who alongside of the elders have worked tirelessly to help our church remain financially sound in this time of difficulty. Thank you, Ted and Jenna, for your hard work and your efforts. Thank you to the governmental programs that as messed up as they were, they worked sometimes. So thank you. Thank you, church. Thank you, family. Thank you for community. Thank you for showing up. And today we, we, uh, we ask again and invite you to join us in our vision, loving God and loving others fearlessly. It's a vision that works. It's a vision that people need right now. People are dying for this kind of love. They're weary. We're weary. I'm weary. We all need this. And so today I want to invite you again to two different kinds of giving. Today I invite you to tithe, and I thank you so much for your tithing. The, the ways to give are on the screen. Thank you for your generous giving. And also, as you saw through our congregational meeting and through Pastor Tracy's letter, an invitation to give a little bit above and beyond that for our end of year giving, to continue to sow into our vision to our church so that we can continue on in 2021. So we thank you so much for your time, and we invite you today to give a little bit extra, whether it's a penny or it's a hundred or it's a thousand, you know, there's not too much and there's not too little. So thank you for that. And let's just pray together. God, thank you so much for this incredible community that you have sustained, that you have blessed, that when you look at our little community on the hill, 
you say, this is my beloved church with whom I love, with whom I'm well pleased. Lord, I pray your blessing over every family member. I ask for your provision, your comfort, your help in time of need. And thank you for taking care of this church. Bless these offerings. And may they go farther and love more and do more than we could ever imagine. All for your glory that this weary world may continue to rejoice because they need you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. And God bless you. And God's peace be with you all during this time.
just want to thank you so much for joining us today in our Christmas sing-along. Such a blessing to have you all with us. And I do want to let you know that next week is the our rock service. And what our rock service is, is each one of us take some time and just asking God, what is my word for 2021? What, what, what do you have to speak to me for 2021? And then we write them down on rocks. So what we're going to do this year, we're still going to have that service. We're going to have means for people to call in and, and uh, to text in, rather not call in, but text in. Those who are in the room will be able to join in. But we're going to have rocks outside of our office door. And you can drive by and you can pick them up. Or even better, go out and take a hike and find a rock and, and discover one as you're walking. So that's always a beautiful service. And in that service, we'll also share the word that we feel like God is speaking to us for 2021, which is an incredibly encouraging word this year. So I'm very excited about that. And again, just Merry Christmas. Love you all dearly. So glad you could join us. And we are going to have one final song for the benediction. Mm -hmm.